Hello, Reef DVMs coming at you here with a comparison of two different potassium kits. We get this on occasion, especially with um, the clients starting out with Zeovit. They want to test for potassium, and they just don't know what test kit to use. There are a bunch of them on the market. These are probably the two most popular ones that I've seen. Um, one obviously uh, based by the company Red Sea. I don't know if they actually make the kit or if they just assemble it. It's hard for me to get uh, information from them on it. And, of course, the other one from um, the standard overseas company by Holland. Um, you know, and, you know, it's it's a good kit, too, but they kind of both have their drawbacks. Uh, the, the, the Salford kit is, is more compact. Obviously, you can see it doesn't come with a nice case like the Red Sea does. So I think we'll start with that one first. You can see there's some filters and some directions here. We're basically just going to kind of take everything and lay it out, a little titration kit there, extra syringe for it, a couple more syringes. And then in the Red Sea kit uh, for potassium tests, there's four vials. Uh, as you saw, I took out the uh, potassium kit from our Holland company there, and there's only three vials, which is kind of nice, one less step. Also, Red Sea uh, requires the use of this little plastic container with filters. Um, we'll go through all that um, in just a second. has a nice direction card, which I certainly wish the, the selfie kit would have. So we get ourselves some RO water and some salt water, um, mainly because the Red Sea one requires both. And we got to get the filter assembled first. I've got the camera here uh, playing back in a little high-speed motion. Otherwise, this would be pretty boring to watch the assembly. Um, the Holland kit over there doesn't need... An RODI water, which is kind of nice. I do like the fact that it's it's simpler, and I think for that reason you'll probably see that when we do this. So, first thing we got to do is take two mLs of our aquarium water sample um, and get that mixed with three mLs of RODI water, and and it does really want RODI water. It doesn't work with just uh, you know a neutralized or distilled water. It really likes RODI. So we get those two um, mixed together real quick. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy at this point. So you got 5 ml of solution. You take um, the first potassium bottle, which is uh, reagent A, if I'm not mistaken. That's how it's labeled. And we want to get four drops in. Very simple. I think the test kit says it does like 40 tests. I'm not 100% sure on that. So you mix this up a little bit. And then... The next step is to add reagent B. Reagent B, you got to suck up with the fine tuberculin syringe because you're going for 0.5 mLs. And then you add that. And once you add that, the um, solution starts to kind of precipitate. It gets a little clumpy and junky. And then this is, you know, the point where things start taking time. So you shake this for 20 seconds according to the directions, and then you got to wait 10 minutes. Obviously, for the sake of the video, we're not going to wait 10 minutes, but I did um, set the timer and wait the 10 minutes out. This is probably the biggest drawback for me. I like results now, and I like them to be clear and easily read. And anytime you do these mixing solutions, probably the two biggest things I dislike is the waiting game due to the large amount of steps or the amount of time it takes to get results. And probably the other thing that irritates me is the color difference, looking at a chart trying to tell whether it's, you know, red versus orange, or in this case, purple to blue. Uh, while we wait, I drew up the 0.5 mLs of the D reagent. That's going to go in that little titration device that's standing up right here in the back. And then um, I also started getting ready the uh, reagent C, which we're going to use a couple drops of that too. And those things are all going to be done after we get past the 10 minute mark. Unfortunately, there's a whole nother wait with a 15 minute wait um, right after we get done with a 10 minute wait. So this test by Red Sea, bare minimum, is going to take you 30 minutes. Um, there's just no way around it. You, you, you just you can't get by it. Versus other test kits, like the one here from the Holland Company, um, you know, it's only going to take maybe 2-3 minutes to do. So I'm kind of prepping while I wait for the 10 minutes. I've got the other vial with the two drops of reagent C in it. I've got the titration device with 0.5 mLs already. And basically it's kind of a sit and wait game. 
Again, we'll speed this up here so you're not sitting here waiting for the test. Once we get done with the 10-minute the, the wait, we add our solution to the filter cup. It's kind of got some white precipitate to it. And guess what? Wait 15 more minutes. Again, big drawback to this test. Too much waiting. I'm impatient. <laughs> Especially when I want answers about my tank. And I've got other things that I've got to test for. Um, I hate waiting on things. So again, you're waiting. At this point, uh, what's happening is the solution is going through the filter paper, the white precipitate is staying on top, and you're basically getting a clear solution at the bottom to which you're going to use only 3 mLs of. You're going to suck up that 3 mLs. We're going to drop that into the two drops of the purple solution there, and then that little jar has threads on the top, and it'll thread right to our, um, uh, our titration device, which is kind of cool the way they've got it set up. So again, I'm going to take 3 mLs, suck it up and add it to the two drops of reagent C and it's going to turn a pretty purple color. Then we're going to take this purple solution we're going to screw it to the bottom of the titration device. I do like the titration device it does make it quite easy to do drip by drip by drip by drip and what we're basically going to do is we've got 0 0.5 ml of solution and one drip at a time is equal to, I believe, 0 0.01. And we're going to count the drips that it takes to make this go from purple to blue. And then we'll compare it to the chart. And we'll have a number of, you know, basically our potassium level. The only difficulty here is not in operating the device. The device is really smooth. The bigger difficulty is, is counting how many drops you did, waiting out the time frame, and getting to this blue color. It took over 50 drops to get to this blue color, folks. I would have driven you nuts making me watch me drip every drop and shaking it in between every single drop. And then I even gave it a couple more just to make sure it got really blue. And, of course, it did about 52. So somewhere between 50 and 52 drops, which on their little chart is between 300 and 320. That's where my potassium is. That's technically low for this tank, so we'll have to pick it up a little. There's enough of a color difference that you can pick it up fairly easy. But again, the shades between purple and blue, eh, that gets debatable again. I wish the colors were more further apart in the uh, Roy GB spectrum. Um, I wish they were, you know, like a red versus a green. Or again, on the other test, you're going to see it's going to be white versus blue. Those major color changes are much easier to see. So... I'm just going to leave this sit here so you can kind of see it. I'm going to switch gears and go over to the Holland Company. Um, and we're going to do that test on the same sample of water. Both of these tests, by the way, turned out very accurate. Um, so we're going to take the little TB syringe they supply. We're going to suck up 1 ml of aquarium water. We're going to put it in one of their containers. You only need one of their containers. Their extra one is basically just an extra one for, you know, another use. Then you take their TB syringe with a little mark on it, and you go into reagent 1, and you get 0 0.5 mLs of it. And this syringe is always to be used with uh, reagent 1, so you don't uh, contaminate it. And that's why it's marked with that little tape on there. So now basically I've got 1 mL of aquarium water. I've got a half an mL of reagent 1. I'm going to stir it for just uh, 20, 30 seconds. And then we're going to take reagent 2 and add 3 drops to it. And at that point, you're ready to start the titration. Now, you don't get a fancy holder like the Red Sea, but it's not too tough to do. So again, we're going to add three drops. The first drop there went in really quick. I'm going to add the last two here. That was just because of how I was holding the bottle. I accidentally squeezed it there as I opened it. So I've got my three drops in there now of reagent two. And now I'm going to take my solution, and I'm going to count each drop of reagent three that goes in. And again, um, counting them up so that at the end I can take it against the little chart that they have in their little box, and it'll tell me the potassium level. So each time I put a drop in, I'm going to lightly shake it or stir it, just to kind of mix it up and see the color change. And as you can see, it's a pretty white right now. And the one thing I like about this test is when it changes color, it changes pretty significantly. I mean, it's not like that kind of, well, is it a purplish blue? Is it a bluish purple? This one goes from white to blue. Yes, it's kind of a pale blue, but it's still a pretty significant blue where you 
can't really miss it. And one drop really does make the change. Um, and then you don't really have to compare it to anything, which is nice. It took about 18 drops. I sped it up here so you didn't have to see all the drops. 18 drops, it turned from white to this blue. Um, again, I'll show you here uh, with another vial here in a second that I made up of the first solution so you can kind of compare it like we did with the Red Sea. Uh, the Red Sea one there, you can see the purple and the blue. And here you go. Now you can see the white and the light blue. It works great. Again, I personally like this Holland Company's test, uh, this Alfred. I, just, I mean, to me, it, it's, it's the way to go. I mean, yes, blue to purple, I can tell the difference. But there's so many steps, and it's so time-consuming. This white to blue is so much easier. It's so fast. So for, for my people that I'm working with and the clients and, the, and their tanks and, and my tanks here in the house, um, especially for those people using uh, the Zeovit system that need to test for potassium, this is my choice uh, right here. I, I'm, I'm going to recommend this one. Yes, I've used the others. Yes, they do work. Yes, they seem to be accurate. But for your money and your time and the ease of running the test, this is the best one. Thanks for watching, folks. Please subscribe to our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this.